So ECF culture um, is a very, very disciplined culture, but it's also a very compassionate culture. So it's a blend of those two features or qualities. Everything is very structured. Um, there are very specific policies and systems that govern all types of uh, workflows in the company and, and fulfillment processes, et cetera, et cetera. There is not a lot of room for error when it comes to the execution of those systems and processes. So we're, in that sense, we're very disciplined and very strict as an organization. When you start to look at the systems and processes and dig into them, uh, you'll notice that large um, um, swaths of these systems and policies and processes are actually written and built to, to protect frontline workers, to make sure frontline workers are never left undeveloped, unattended, uninspired. Um, there's a lot of pieces in there that drive that. So it's like these two features of our culture are pulling together simultaneously this, this high level of discipline and this compassion, this really meaningful, heartfelt compassion for people um, pulling in the same direction. That's what makes it very powerful. The compassion part um, definitely comes, I think it's driven from our family's uh, sensitivity to vulnerable populations, immigrant populations, minorities, people of color who are, um, who have been um, either held back or not utilized to their full potential or been treated in, in discriminatory ways. And so we have a a very sincere interest in the welfare of that vulnerable part of the population, of which a huge part makes up the frontline workforce of our industry. Um, I guess that concept of wanting our management to reflect our frontline, I want our management team to look like our frontline workforce, which I could say that we've accomplished. Um, and we'll, we just want to maintain that as we grow uh, because Yes, when you have diversity in your company, then uh, for sure your team's going to feel more at home because when you don't walk in the shoes of people who have certain ethnic backgrounds or who speak certain languages or, or perhaps had to migrate for work or whatever it is, when you, when you don't have any common interests with people like that, it is easy to not be on the same page with them. So the fact that we have that common ground with our um, team some member of our management team can connect with somebody in the front line. Uh, somebody, they, in other words, we can also speak for them when we're at meetings. We can we can have empathy when we're discussing and making decisions. So, I think that has created and given us an edge, uh, and it's very prominent in our culture. It needs to be more uh, representation in the management ranks. I think that has made ECF very successful very quickly because we're able to staff in an environment that few people can.